Hi, I'm Sam, and today I'm telling you how I use an eight-year-old Canon T3i and still get pretty decent video footage out of it through a tool called Neat Video. It removes the noise and grain out of your footage. The pros use it, Peter McKinnon uses it. If you can't quite afford a couple thousand dollars on a new, on some new gear, you've got to check out Neat Video. It turns any footage into perfect footage. Let me show you what I mean right after the intro. Okay, so looking at my screen, I'm gonna show you the first example. Look at this clip here. I know it's not taking up the whole screen. It's just a, you know, I just got it here in the middle, but you can see clearly like how much noise is in that, that footage there. And we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna make it look perfect. So I'm not gonna, it's not a tutorial. I'm not gonna go into the details really, but basically in your effect panel, once you install the video, you drag it onto your clip and then it's here in your effects panel and your option here is to hit prepare. So that starts the process. What it does is it takes kind of a screen grab of your footage and will put it into its you know, algorithm system. So once you hit prepare, next step is build. And here's our clip. Here's our noisy garbage clip. Now, all I gotta do is find um, an area with a lot of noise that's kind of uniform in its color. So I could take a big swath right here that would work. And when you get it all in green, that's good. It can build a profile, a noise profile off of that. So right here, noise level 5.2, that's pretty high. Obviously, this footage is terrible. So as soon as I get a nice little green section here, I'm gonna hit auto profile, and boom. It's done the magic. Now all I do is go into noise filter settings, and boom, wow, look at that. Just look at, this is just, this drives me, this is amazing. This reminds me of when I was a kid watching those CSI movies where, or TV shows where they'd have this really grainy, like pixelated image of someone walking by on the street and then they, you know, use this computer software to make it perfectly crystal clear. Can you enhance the image from here? Can you enhance him right here? Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? Can you enhance it? Hold on a second, I'll enhance. That's not possible, but this is. Look at it, look at it here, I can go back and forth. This is the original clip. Look at all of that noise. Look at all that different color, the reds and the greens and the blues. And then I turn on the filter, boom. Wow, you can tell it's a door again. Here, look at all that. Look at all that grain, just gone. I'll zoom in a little bit further. Just so much garbage, so much junk in this clip. And neat video, boom, takes it out. Um, you can kind of see it working as I go back and forth here. Here's the original and with the filter. Original with the filter. That's just so amazing. I could spend all day just going back and forth. And this was taken on a Canon T3i with high ISO. Let's say you know, you're know you somewhere and you don't have the right lighting. You've got to bump up that ISO. It's gonna put a lot of noise into your footage, but with neat video, boom, it's just gone. Awesome, so you hit apply and boom, it's applied it to your clip and you're good to go. You can render it out and nobody will know that it was this total mess of a clip before you before you started. Even if you've got the 1DX Mark II like Peter McKinnon has, he still uses this tool when needed to get rid of any noise in his footage. Let's look at another example here. I'm looking at uh, looking at a harp here. Um, strings on a harp behind me. So same thing, I'm gonna go in and drop in this reduced noise effect. I'm gonna hit prepare and then build, boom, same thing. Find a spot with some noise. And there's quite a bit there, as there are in all these clips. And you've got that profile built, and then you can just go in and take a look. Wow, look at the clarity here. Look at the clarity on, on this screw or bolt, whatever this is. And here's the original. And filter turned back on, and original. Like it just totally cleans up all of this distortion right around here, watch this. Here's on, off, on, off. I'm not gonna bore you. I'm not gonna go through all these examples here, but I've just got a bunch of different clips and you can take the noise out of all of them here. So with neat video, best 25 bucks I've ever spent. Makes your footage look fantastic. I could go on for days about this tool. If you're not using it, I suggest you do it. Uh, here's one more clip that I'll do. So I'll go ahead and drag neat video onto this clip. This is just a horrible shot taken in way too low of lighting. I'm gonna hit repair and then build. 
and find a spot with just some consistently bad noise. Hit the profiling button. Go in to take a look. Wow. Look at just the, the clarity on, on the zipper here and then and that's with the effect turned on and then back to the original. Look at all of the, the color there and it's gone. And I'll try and zoom in real close here. Just, wow, that's just like a rainbow going on in what's supposed to be a black bag. And you turn that filter on and boom, clear. Anyways, that's a neat video. It's an awesome tool. The pros use it. I use it. I've got it on top of this footage here. Even though I'm well lit, it still makes a little bit of a difference in the clarity. I suggest you give them a try. They also have a version for Photoshop, for still imagery, but I just use it for video. Anyways, let me know what you think. Have you used Neat Video? Are you going to try it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!